still so crazy to me to, to know that that was a reality. What you just saw was one of my dives from the Olympics back in 2016. And it's, it's funny that that was one of my dives in the Olympics because nine years ago today, that exact dive almost ended my life. Nine years ago on that dive, I hit my head on the 10 meter platform, fell 33 feet down to the water, scalp ripped in half. If you wanna hear the full story to that video, there's a card up in the top corner that can take you to the video I made two years ago, giving all the details and kind of the residual effects that followed from that accident. But it's been two years and I just kinda of wanna talk about the changes that have occurred since that previous video two years ago. Um, now knowing that I did go to the Olympics and that I did win a silver medal um, and just kind of how how it's not so much affected my life but just kind of reflect on the past two years um, knowing that this accident happened nine years ago so yeah about a year and a half ago we ended up getting this medal at the Olympic Games and that dive was a huge factor for us because without that dive we at the end of the day wouldn't have even been in that event um, so it's it's a cool moment for me to look back on just knowing what had happened seven years before that and now nine years later even just reminiscing on the fact that I'm still alive like such a bad accident happened to me really really kind of inspires me everyone has those moments in their life where bad things occur things they don't expect occur and a lot of times those things that happen to us, whether it be by choice or by chance, they can kind of shape who we are if we let them. And this is kind of an example for myself is that head injury, me hitting my head on 10 meter, could have shaped who I was for the rest of my life. I could have not been a diver. I could have not had any trust in myself to do what I did or in anyone to um, lead me to where I needed to go. But because I didn't let that moment shape who I was, I was able to continue to pursue my dream and achieve my dream. When I made this video two years ago, I had a lot of emphasis on what kind of effects were left on me from hitting my head on the tower. And it was, it was kind of a moment of confidence for me. Being able to share that story gave me confidence going into that Olympic season, especially not just with that dive, but with all my dives, that I continued to dive for a reason because I enjoyed it. Sharing this story two years ago was kind of an empowering and an encouraging thing for me just to do for myself, to give me a little confidence going into that Olympic year, knowing that the dive that almost took me out of the sport completely and almost took me out of life completely, uh, was something I was confident in. I was confident doing that dive and it ended up being one of my best dives at Olympic trials and at the Olympic games. And it was a dive that helped me win a medal at the Olympic games. Sharing the story was the boost I kind of needed for that to give me confidence of like, no steel, you can't back down from any of your dives right now because you could have not been diving at all. You could not still be living. So why not put 100% effort into what you're doing? You've already been through potentially the worst accident of your entire life, hopefully the worst accident. If it didn't stop me then, what would make me think it's gonna stop me now? And it was just kind of me encouraging myself to not back down in the final months leading up to the Olympics. God really blessed that accident. God didn't create that accident, but that accident, as I said two years ago, became a learning experience and I gained a lot from that. And I was able to try it harder because of what had happened. Do I wish it had happened? No. Do I wish it to happen to anyone? No. But am I a better diver? And am I overall a stronger being because of that accident? Yeah. It's scary thinking back on that accident, but it's also, it's also empowering thinking back to that and thinking of just honestly how short of a recovery it was from that to be back to where I was and how much it pushed me to want to be safer and better at what I was doing. There's a lot of ways you can look at an accident like that and for me I saw it as a driving force to want to be better and to want to achieve that Olympic dream and so two years later sitting here having achieved that Olympic dream and I'm hungry for another one it 
it continues to light a fire under me. The fact that all of it could have been taken away in a moment, but it wasn't, is enough for me to continue to strive for greatness day after day after day. Accidents suck, and they can define who you are if you let them. Or they can just be moments that can empower you to be the person God's created you to be. So nine years ago, I could have stopped diving, but I'm so glad I didn't.